We will continue working close with our neighbors in the Southern Africa region to expand and strengthen collaboration in areas such as oil and gas, grain and hydrogen, and water resources, as well as improve movements of goods and services. These initiatives are important to bolster our economy and improve the livelihoods of our people, while contributing towards the full attainment of the, of the regional integration agenda. The evolving international world order necessitates the strengthening of the non-alignment movement. South Africa's policy of active non-alignment is not reactive, but an affirmative affairs but putting forward a unifying agenda through a dialogue to achieve peaceful resolutions of dialogue of, of conflicts across the globe and not to just side with those sides that are in great rivalry across the globe. It has led to the significant increase of consumer prices, particularly of food and energy. This underscores the critical need for immediate global cooperation to end conflicts and address their current economic impact. <clears throat> South Africa coordinated the first ever peace initiative beyond the continent's borders when President Ramaphosa led a delegation of six African heads of state to Ukraine and Russia last year. In the emerging world order, we are more cognizant than ever before that economic prosperity largely depends on stability, peace, and respect for the rule of law. There can be no peace in any part of the world where people are being oppressed or struggling under the yoke of colonialism or occupation. We will continue to engage the world as equals. South Africa's non-alignment and universality posture will remain sacrosanct.